I'm going to give you a walkthrough of our platform and our valuation solutions. I really like the points that Michael and Elaine made before. I think valuation as a service, as you'll see, is a great solution to the illiquidity problem of private markets, but also the issues that GPs and fund managers are having today. So right now I'm just logged into the system. I pulled up the Chicago Multifamily Real Estate Fund. And right now we're just looking at the dashboard page. So this is what we call the deal overview. These are all live data elements that are extracted either from appraisal documents or other source documents provided by ownership. Scrolling down, we have a schedule of investments. So at the fund or portfolio level, we can see the assets that make up the fund and we can link and click into each of them. So I just clicked into that first asset on the schedule of investments, 5710 North Winthrop, which just pulled up here, the Fairchild Towers asset. You'll see that this deal overview looks a little bit different. It's a little bit more filled out. You would imagine that's because there's a lot of asset level data that doesn't necessarily roll up to the fund. So just another quick demonstration of the customizability and flexibility of the platform. We have a schedule of investments option as well. So if there are assets that fall under this property, you can tag these as well. So if you wanted to tag your mortgage, for example, or anything else, you could do that right here as well at the asset level. We have an automated workflow. I'm not gonna get into the specific rules that we set up here, but the idea of the automated workflow is to allow the user to go through their work without having to worry about updating anything in the system. And scrolling down, we have what we call our workflow items. So the first is our calendar view. So we can very quickly see what's going on when I can click on any date and see what tasks are going to occur on that specified date and the status of those tasks. So I can see everything is already done. And then we have a to-do list view. So this is a very granular level workflow set of items, very flexible set of phases, groups, and tasks that can be customized for really any business purpose, but for valuation, we're setting this up to walk through the valuation process. So a high level, we're going to link the documents. So any source documents we want for this period in time, and you will see these little green tags here next to the documents. And so if I click on one of these, you'll see we actually have two blockchains. So we have Ethereum and Quantum Ledger connected to this asset, and each one of these are verified. So what we're doing, every document Invenium looks at, we're generating this checksum this long list of alphanumeric characters using a SHA-256 algorithm. That's a very long way of saying we're generating a digital fingerprint. So this is the digital fingerprint identification of this document. So we anchor this checksum and this URL to blockchain and, and nothing else. That allows us to do two things. Number one, we're going to preserve the golden copy so you can always check your document against this checksum and ensure that you have the golden copy. And this checksum is generated at the pixelated level. So if one pixel changes in your document, such as the color of one letter of one word changes, this checksum will be different. And this verify tag will be changed to a change document tag. And you will be notified immediately that there's been a change to your document. So in this way, Invenium can preserve what we call a, a proof of state. I can prove the state of my asset because I can prove the document and the data set behind the asset at any point in time. So we're going to go through, we're going to link any document that is important for this period. We're going to populate our deal fields. We're going to create this workflow and we're going to get our client approval. I'm going to show a few other configuration options, and then I'm going to come back to this workflow and finish the valuation as a service story. So as we're onboarding assets, we're going to go to this apps and integration sections here, which is going to allow us to do number one, connect to a blockchain. So we have a multitude of blockchains available to be able to connect to today. Again, I've only chosen two for this demonstration, but I have a number of others that I could connect to, including the Accumulate protocol, which is coming out in the next couple of weeks. Here at Invenium, we're blockchain agnostic, so you don't care which blockchain you use as long as you use one. That's a way, again, for you to validate your proof of state. And we're blockchain promiscuous, so we do promote you using more than one blockchain at a time. Again, we're at the precipice of this industry, so knowing which blockchain is going to last the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years is, is a guessing game. So the best way for you to preserve your data is to use more than one. We can connect to organization platforms. So today, if you have a token tokenized by token, and we can connect to that. We have a whole laundry list of other tokenization platforms that we're integrating with as well. The last part of the onboarding process is configuring our data room. And so our data room is what we call 
a federated data room or a multi-cloud API. Again, it's a very fancy way of saying that this data is not actually on Invenium. This is being held at the Fairchild Towers data store. This happens to be an Amazon S3 data store, but we could also connect multiple data stores. So we can connect another Amazon S3 bucket. We can connect SFTP. We can connect Box, and we have SharePoint and OneDrive coming soon. If you have another specific data store need, please let the product team know, and, and we'll work on it. So now that I've gone through, I've configured the system, I've onboarded the asset, the first thing we're going to do as part of valuation as a service is create what we call pre-valuation data artifacts. So this is data points that the appraiser needs in order to connect, conduct their valuation. The first is income and expenses. So this is going to be an extraction of the income statement for the asset. And so what we're going to do is really three tasks inside of this workflow. So the first thing we're going to do is create what we call at Invenium a task base. What we're doing is we're attaching documents that we want extracted. So we're basically saying... We want these two income statements extracted. We have a trailing 12 month, we have a 2020 income statement. And then we're also gonna link the task space uh, within our application that we call AI Assist. AI Assist is our application we use for data extraction. So we're gonna extract the data out of this document as well as preserve all of the clickable audit trails through it. So I have my 2020 income statement as well as my trailing 12 month here that I can flip through. I can see all the data elements that we've extracted in these yellow highlights, and I can very quickly see where these data elements were extracted from. So our responsible party is going to go into this task space, complete this within AI Assist. This is a data extraction platform. Again, we have AI models built on top of it, learning exactly where all these data elements are extracted from and actually suggest what the answer should be. And over time, that gets smarter and smarter. So the first task, we've created the task space. I'm going to keep moving here. We're going to then run the extraction. So once this is completed and we've gotten our approval, we're going to then go ahead and export that artifact. Whenever we export an artifact, we're going to export it in two forms. So we're going to export it in an Excel that's usable by people like me and you. And then we're going to export a JSON that's used by machines and computers. So if you wanted to send this data via API into another program or another software solution, this JSON document is what's gonna enable you to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open up this financial document. While this is loading, I'm gonna go back through the workflow. And again, if, if it takes five, 10 seconds, 15 seconds for a document to load, that's because this is not actually stored on Invenium. So we're go, again, going through that S3 bucket, retrieving that file, and then we're gonna display it within Invenium. I do wanna point out, this is actually an Excel document that we're viewing like a PDF. So if I want to actually use it like an Excel document, I'm just going to hit the download button right here and it's going to pop up. I'm going to open this. And I also want to point out on the screen in the file info pane, we have the checksum available to you. So that entire process, we're trying to convey transparency as much as possible. So we're going to run this process for the income statement as well as the rent roll. With the rent roll, because of our data extraction technology, we're actually going to run this off of, this is a multifamily asset. So we were given a master lease, basically one giant PDF with every lease in it for one period of time. So we're actually going to generate this based off of the master lease rather than making a carbon copy of the rent roll itself. I'm going to open up this last task here and just open up the deliverable and then go ahead and download that as well. So we can look at the rent roll and the income statement together. So while this is downloading, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my income statement and show you just really quickly a few pretty interesting features. So number one, we can brand this for a specific company or organization. We just threw the Invenium and Asset Owners logo on this one. We can also embed calculations. So for this example, we've embedded a diff calculation. So that way the appraiser can very quickly see what the trends look like between periods. If I hover over a data point, you will see a, a link that actually pulls up. And so what that means, if I click that link, it's actually going to pull up AI Assist. It's going to go to the record where we extracted that data point. It's going to go to the document. So that was the 2020 income statement. And it's going to snap and show you exactly what data point you just audited. So it just, I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it a little bit better we just boxed in this data point right here. And then while we're in the application, we can go ahead and audit anything else that we might want to, such as the total rental income, 
or any other data point that we see here. So once we have our pre-valuation artifacts done, we're gonna sync these to the data lab. This is a data artifacts tab right here, which is housing the JSON documents. It's showing you what documents these are based off of. And this is the area where if you wanna send your data via API, that's the tab we're gonna do it. So anytime we get a JSON document, we also activate it through our data artifacts tab as well. And then for this demonstration, we also included a phase for our Argus underwriting. So typically the appraiser is gonna be the one to actually create the Argus model, but to show how they're doing it, we included that in, in this demonstration as well. So this first task is to upload the template. So I'm gonna open this right here as well. But Argus has a whole suite of input templates available through their Excel 480W Excel add-in. And so that really allows you to send your data directly. And this is not actually damaged, but it's a very complex template, which is why it was showing that reading error. And again, it's an Excel file. But I just want to show very quickly that using this tab, I can connect to my Argus Enterprise. I can copy and paste the information I want into this template and then I can send it directly to AE. So if I actually connected this, I could fill this out and then send it to Argus Enterprise. And so as an appraiser, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at this income statement, I'm gonna audit everything, look at the trends. I might make my own predictions in this right-hand column. And then at the very end, I'm gonna just filter out only the items I want, copy and paste it into this Excel template and upload it into Argus. So you can imagine an Argus model that would typically take one to two or three days to create using this process, you can get it done in less than an hour. So we're gonna fill in that template. We're gonna send the data to the cloud. So I'm just linked to the Argus cloud and that's opening right here. And then once the data is actually sent into the model, we're gonna link the model itself. So again, that same link to the Argus cloud as well as the actual Argus file itself. If you just wanted to open it on your desktop app without having to go through the cloud, which just opened up on this other screen, and then I could open this up in Argus Enterprise if I wanted as well. Once the appraiser finished the Argus model, we're gonna go through the valuation process. So we're gonna deliver all the data to the appraiser, schedule the inspection, get the ETA, and then once the appraisal is reviewed and received, we're going to review the draft that's approved. We're going to go ahead and attach that through this task card, which will also sync it and link it into the data room. Once we've received uh, the valuation, we're going to then run our post valuation process, which is producing a data artifacts similar to before, but this time we're going to run it on top of the appraisal. So if I just jump into this last task card here and open up the Excel file and show you what it looks like. And just give it one second and close out these additional tabs here. I can actually open it directly from here as well. So this is a valuation summary. Now this is using the Invenium standard valuation summary template. So if your client doesn't like these colors or this formatting, this is completely customizable. And again, each one of these data points, if I hover over it, you're going to see that link pop up. And if I just click on one of them, again, it's going to open up that AI assist URL, and it's going to snap directly to the data point that I clicked on. In this case, total gross income, and then it's going to open up the appraisal itself, snap directly to the page and the data point, which you're going to see here in just a second. So again, it's opening the document, it's showing all the data points that were extracted, and then it's going to jump to this one here in, in just a sec. While we're waiting on this, I'm going to jump back to the valuation summary just for one second. Again, this is totally customizable for the client, whatever suits their business needs. One of the ad major advantages of having all of your data in an Excel rather than a 200-page PDF is I can use it immediately. So if I'm an asset owner, if I'm a fund manager, the first thing I'm doing is I'm copying all my sales comps for every single asset I'm getting a value on, and I'm going to create my own index. And that way, I'm going to have a moving index over time showing the history of sales comparables. And the best part about this technology is if I copy and paste that data like I just did, the hyperlinks travel. So I can click on that data point that I just copied and pasted. 
and it's going to go back to AI Assist, and it's going to show me the audit trail. So as a fund manager, I can copy and paste this data into any database I want, and I can still audit it at the place that I prefer to. Then I'm just going to jump back into the system, and, and that really concludes. So we've received our valuation. We've received all of our data elements for the valuation, and this process will repeat on a recurring basis, either monthly or quarterly, depending again on the owner's business needs. But that concludes the tour of, of Invenium and our AI Assist technologies.